guys welcome in kk java tutorials uh, in previous video tutorial we have learned how to download and install jenkins on windows 10 machine here in this video tutorial we'll see how to install jenkins as a war file yeah so in previous video tutorial we have installed jenkins as a windows installer and that's the reason if you go to the uh, windows services then here if you search for jenkins then here you can see uh, here uh, Windows sorry Jenkins is running as a Windows service and whenever you uh, switch on your machine then automatically this will be in the running state and it will always occupy the port number 8080 right because we had uh, just uh, 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 running this Jenkins on the default port which is uh, 8080 if you want you can change the port number as well and uh, for that you can watch my another video yeah so here uh, here if you want to stop these services manually you have to go into the windows services right click over here and of course here uh, here you can restart it or if you want to stop it then you can stop from here right that's the one of the overhead this keep running on your windows uh, machine and manually you have to uh, stop it right but if you want to run uh, Jenkins as a war file then also you can do that for that you required one additional server web server uh, uh, and uh, here i'm going to use of course you can use another web server or application server, server as well but here i'm going to use one of, one of the well-known uh, web server that is called tomcat and that's completely free yeah so first of all you require to download tomcat so here you have to search on google tomcat download and this is the website there you have to go and here you have a tomcat uh, available to download right so depends on the, your operating system whether your operating system is 32 or 64 you can download the binaries right you can download the zip file once you download the zip file right then after you have to unzip it that we'll see after the second thing you have to download of course jenkins war file right so here you have to write jenkins and this is the uh, jenkins official website there you have to go click on the download right and here if you uh, look into there uh, this uh, download is available in two categories right uh, first is uh, basically a stable version and second is the weekly version so a stable versions basically that's releases uh, frequently on the 12 weeks uh, in every 12 weeks and this uh, basically release happens on the every week so this is the stable version and if you scroll down then you have a Jenkins available for to download for different uh, basically operating system so earlier we had downloaded this window so if you click on the windows then a windows installer will be downloaded right now but we want to download the war file so to download the war file in order to download the war file just you have to click over here so if i click over here the downloading will be started so already i have downloaded jenkins war file so just i'm going to cancel it yeah so tomcat as well as your uh, uh, Jenkins war already I have downloaded just to save some time just I have downloaded so same uh, war whatever we had started downloading I have already downloaded so just I'm going to copy it then of course you need to download already I told you you have to download uh, Tomcat so Tomcat 8 I have downloaded and once you download this uh, zip uh, zip uh, folder from Tomcat website then you have to unzip it so just I have unzipped it then you have to go inside the tomcat and here you can see the uh, directory is called wave apps right so there you have to paste that jenkins war file right this is the first step now uh, there is possibility now uh, in uh, in uh, in your uh, in, in your computer uh, uh, port number 8080 already occupied right so now I, or uh, on 8080 already one of my uh, Jenkins is running I want to run another Jenkins instance on the some other port uh, in order to do that what you have to do you have to go inside the tomcat and you can see a uh, uh, folder is called config conf right and there there is a file is called server just open this file and here you need to search for a tag uh, uh, you need to search for a tag is called connector so here is the connector so here already I have changed but here if you want uh, to change uh, again like 8090 right so whatever port you want you can change over here four digit you can supply over here right so here I have given 8090 and after that just you need to save it right so earlier I had changed this port that's why that was showing 9090 
otherwise if you download the tomcat then default uh, port you would get 8080 again i have changed i made it 8090 right so another jenkins instance i would like to run on the 8090 after saving it just close it okay and uh, then uh, come to the tomcat again and in, inside the tomcat you have to go in the bin folder and there is a batch file for windows you can see the startup right so just right click over here and run as a as admin or what you can do you can twice click on this uh, batch file windows batch file yeah so that should open a new window click on the run so now it is started running so uh, in is in so while starting the tomcat lot of things happens right lot of classes are getting loaded lot of uh, thread pool gets started and all lot of things happens internally so here you can see the message uh, regarding the uh, so we had already this error message you can ignore this error message is uh, something is related to i think uh, at, uh, due to the action check for the should be allowed exception this is related to ssl exception right so that you can completely ignore not a problem at all right here uh, we must get one message for uh, jenkins so let's see uh, okay we do not have a message for jenkins so what i'll do i'll press control c to stop the service and now what i'll do uh, this is the start of uh, start of batch file for windows so go and click as run as and say yes so at this time i'm going to run as administrator still this is not running then click on twice over here and again it is started running so here you can see jenkins.war is getting deployed on the tomcat so just wait for some time until uh, jenkins uh, dot war gets deployed on the tomcat so here you can see jenkins is fully up and running saying that and uh, now uh, now saying that jenkins is fully up and running now we have to open your favorite browser and here what you can do we have to write localhost and port number what we have we had given 8090 i think right 8090 uh, and now here you can see uh, now top tomcat is up and running after that what you have to give slash and what was the uh, our war file name that was jenkins so you have to write jenkins and press enter here you can see now jenkins when you when you open first time uh, jenkins after installation then we get this kind of uh, screen right uh, and uh, and same screen we had got when uh, we had install uh, uh, jenkins as a windows installer right now it is instructing us uh, we can get the initial password from this file right so we have to go uh, inside the users then username and underneath we have a uh, jenkins secret so i have to go see then here we have to user then username then what else uh, dot jenkins here we have dot jenkins then secret and here we'll get this file name is called uh, initial admin password so that we have to find so this is the file initial admin password just open it and here we get the first initial password for admin user creation so uh, not uh, admin user creation but this is add initial admin password so that you have to paste it over here click on the continue right so this is just prompting whether you want to save this password or not so i am clicking on the neighbor right and uh, this jenkins instance appears to be offline so here configure proxy ski plugin installation let's click on the ski plugin installation i don't want to uh, install any kind of plugin right so if you want or uh, to install some kind of plugin then you can uh, you can select uh, to install plugin 
and there uh, this will uh, provide you to uh, choose uh, some uh, existing plugin right so that uh, step i have skipped so here this is asking me to specify the username so here i'm going to specify the username admin2 password any password you can specify over here so and same password you have to enter once again and then after full name full name you can specify just i'm going to specify admin2 again and click on save and continue right now here uh here already we had a specified a uh, tomcat port number 8089 but still you'd like to change you can change from here this because this field is coming as editable now i don't i don't want to change this port of uh, my tomcat or jenkins so just i'm clicking on the save and finish All right a start using jenkins click on the start using Gen jenkins and this is the jenkins dashboard right so if you want to run jenkins war as a web application then of course you required one one additional uh, web server so here i have used tomcat because tomcat is completely free right that you can download and uh, your uh, jenkins uh, war file you can deploy it on the tomcat and whatever things now you want to do you can do easily right so i have shown you there are two couple of ways to install jenkins on your windows machine first uh, uh, in previous video we had seen how to uh, install Jenkins using a Windows installer. In this video we have seen how we can uh, install Jenkins using war file, right? So guys that's all I have in this video tutorial. Guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.